G'day guys, welcome to Ian's wonderful world of Gardens for Wildlife. I was out in my yard yesterday and um, I found a beautiful bird nest and I wanted to come up here and show you it. But I also found something else. Now, there appears to be some dead rats in the stormwater pit. So I'm gonna go and fish them out and check out what they are and I'll show you the nest first so look if you're not comfortable with seeing dead animals click the exit button after you've seen the bird nest <laughs> it's quite pretty it's covered in um, feathers so let's just take a look here you're not going to believe it someone's taken it I was here an hour ago Oh, bugger. It was beautiful. Oh, there it is. Let's check it out. Yeah, it looks like a dog or something's got to it. Look at this nest. Wow. I'm going to take that nest down and have a, have a look at it. I wonder what it was from. There's no large canopy trees above us here, apart from those, but I can't see it, a nest blowing out in the wind like that unless an animal's brought it in here. Look at this nest. Wow. I have the bird nest here and I know exactly where to put it. Right here. Now we're going to go to the dead rats, so click the button now. They're down in here, in the stormwater pit. Oh, that's Let's have a look at what we have here. So we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Is that right? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Hmm. Let's get the net. Start with the big guy. I like the float. Boy, don't smell good. <coughs> Boy, I don't smell good. Let's blow him out here and we'll take a look. Oh no. Bloody hell, I think that's an antichinus. I could be wrong. 
Um, I could be wrong. It's definitely not Rattus Rattus because this adult here has got a hairy tail. So we've either got a bush rat or an antichinus. So this is what we're looking at. We've got one adult, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight in total. Now, the adult here definitely appears to have a have hair on its tail. It has a very pointy nose. Just looking at the ears, it's a little bit difficult to see. I might have to uh, have a look at the front teeth on them. This is Mummy, you can see all her teats. That's a lot of youngsters, all in this one drain. Look, I'm really not positive what I have here, so I want to get these guys off the road. I'll take them down, I'll do a little bit of research and see what we do have. Because it's a little bit concerning that we have this many marsupials dying in this drain. It's not good. Let's bag them and tag them. What we have here is an adult female at the top, the juvenile below. A size is 125 to the base of tail. Full length is nudging 220. So that gives us a what, 95 mil tail. So we have a tail smaller than the body size. We also have here a very hairy tail. So straight away, it's telling me that it's certainly not Rattus Rattus, the common rat, because they have a longer tail than their body length. And they also have nowhere near this amount of hair on the tails. We definitely have the same species here. Now, how are we gonna identify them from a bush rat to an antichinus? Well, we need to look at the teeth. A bush rat will have incisors, an antichinus will have canine teeth. Okay, we definitely have top and bottom canine. There's certainly no incisors there, that would indicate it's a rat. So we have a native marsupial here, the Agile Antichinus. The younger juvenile hasn't got any of the upper front teeth as yet. Certainly has got canines in there. Anyone who watches my channel know that I love the Agile Antichinus around here and I actually built them a very loggy area that's just suitable for these guys.
So this might help if anything does fall in, at least. They'll be able to climb back up and out. And those logs, although not very big, they won't give this drain any problem because there's a metal guard here that collects any debris before it goes through the road drain. So there you go. You're not going to believe it. It's only been four or five days and someone's already pulled those logs out. <laughs> Things alone.